Hello, everybody. This is Carl Freund with Cambrian AI Research. And today I've got Eitan Medina from Intel, he, where he's the vice president and COO of Habana Labs. Uh, Eitan, welcome to the program. I'm glad to be here. Thanks for hosting me. I've been trying to get you for months and months, so I'm glad we finally were able to fit this into your calendar. Uh, okay. There's so much stuff going on right now with AI, with ChatGPT. Uh, in, 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 Intel has a pretty amazing offering with Gaudi too. If you look at your uh, uh, performance on MLPerf, it's pretty amazing. Uh, um, and of course, uh, MI, MI300 from AMD, and we got Grace Hopper from, from, uh, from NVIDIA, but you have silicon in hand now and you're shipping it, right? Absolutely. That's cool. Absolutely. So why don't you just start, let's start at a high level. Where are you with Gaudi? Uh, where is it available? How's, how's it performing? Uh, just kind of give the audience an update on, on where we stand with Gaudi. Absolutely. So we're in uh, full production with both our first generation Gaudi and Gaudi 2. And uh, if you are a developer and want to try it out, it's available on both the cloud and on-prem. So, uh, you know, if, if you are, and, and that's where we are busy with, right, in enabling those end users with more and more workloads in demonstrating it and in servicing customers that are actually using us in their production deployments. Uh, so, uh, you know, I can go into and, and give you like how to how to access Gaudis in both cloud and and on prem. There are now multiple choices, and we're very excited to kind of show customers how an accelerator that is designed from the ground up how can it really realize those price performance benefits and give our customers all the programming models that you know they actually need. Uh, in some of the most exciting workloads, right, such, such as those transformer models that are, you know, changing the world. Yes, they are. My uh, my inbox is completely full of inquiries on ChatGPT and GPT three, um, and I'm sure I'm sure you guys are working hard on uh, large language models on on Gaudi too. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So we, we are. You know, what's so interesting is that we see more and more customers from all sorts of industries and use cases kind of end up realizing that they want those larger models, not just to train them, but also to inference them and to, you know, inference them on, on multiple modalities, on text and images at the same time. So the use cases are, are uh, you know, growing by the day. But we see more and more customers getting to the conclusion that one larger models would be actually more useful for all sorts of use cases. Mm -hmm. So now that that creates a, a you know a pressure point in the market because, as you know, training those models and inferencing those models on on expensive GPUs is it could be a real uh, for for customers. So. You know, we are we are fortunate to kind of bring really good price performance mm -hmm. uh, with with those accelerators. So now we're busy in enabling bigger and bigger models and more and more use cases. And and we actually are excited in seeing uh, ecosystem partners and customers enabling those models on their own. And sometimes we hear about you know, oh, there's a fun example. Someone just implemented this model before we did right on our accelerator and, and now let's show it. So it was really fun to show that in the Intel on conference, uh, some examples of those and, and that's very exciting. That's exciting. You know, when you came out with your last um, uh, ML perf results, my, my comment was, wow, this is really fast, uh, but where's your ecosystem? Can you, can you update the audience as to what you're doing to engage the development of ecosystem? You've got people building models on their own. That, that's gotta right. be important milestone but at a, at a lot higher level um yeah what are you what are so, you doing engaging? so when we talk about ecosystem there are multiple types of ecosystem partners that we're working to working with concurrently because the ecosystem as you well know is, is complex and you actually need partners and, and collaborators in each of those areas from operating system vendors uh, you need to work with the uh, Ubuntu's and OpenShift and uh, you know Red Hat, etc. Right, of those players, and and we actually made announcements on 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 collaborations in in these areas. You need to work with the 
uh, hugging face of the world, right? The people that host those uh, models, right? Those tools to enable those end developers, right? The hugging face, uh, I mean, there are four, more, over 40,000 models already enabled for Gaudi and Gaudi 2. 40,000 models. And, and they're publishing their own blogs on how great the performance is. So one of those developers, if they wish to see that, they should type in Hugging Face Gaudi 2 and they'll find a recent blog where they kind of were, were so impressed with, with Gaudi 2 delivering about twice the performance of A100 on models like the T5 3 billion, uh, you know, Diffusion, BERT, etc. So, so, so library vendors are really, really important, right? Uh, OEMs are also incredibly important, right? Supermicro uh, is the first one to come out with, um, you know, ready a Gaudi 2 based okay. service. So they have a by eight Gaudi, Gaudi 2 server with the dual socket Xeon subsystem. They are accepting orders, by the way. So if you wish to buy a Gaudi oh. 2 server, yeah. that's where you go. That's now, people, yeah, now, now if, if you're a developer who just want to try Gaudi architecture somewhere, there are also multiple choices for that. Uh, if you're a developer that wishes to try it on the Amazon cloud, there's, of course, the, the first generation Gaudi, uh, in, you know, in the DL1 instance, uh, Many customers are using that. We have customers in production and, and lots of experience in multiple use cases on this one. So you can go to the Amazon EC2 cloud. Uh, uh, as of last quarter, the Intel Dev Cloud is offering Gaudi 2 servers to developers. So if you're a developer, just type in Intel Dev Cloud Gaudi 2. You'll see how to apply for access to Gaudi 2 uh, over at Intel Dev Cloud. Um, mm -hmm. If you're, you know, from the academy, then the San Diego Supercomputing Center uh, is having its own program uh, in allowing developers access to first-generation Gaudi. First-generation Gaudi and Gaudi 2, you know, the only difference is that Gaudi 2 is basically faster. It has more compute, more memory, more networking, but it's based on the same architecture. So actually, the software that comes with Gaudi supports both Gaudi and Gaudi 2. And you, if you're an end developer and you just want to try it out, you can try either of these options to get a sense of how easy it is to use Gaudi. And, you know, uh, and, and uh, over at our website, there's tons of collateral, how-to guides, tutorials, webinars, and, and all sorts of things that we're doing to kind of engage the ecosystem with publishing use cases and, and the, you can find lots of collateral that got published in, in conferences of last year. And, and you know, basically if you're a developer, all you need is an internet connection. You'll find all the models, all the collateral completely open, the software, the tools. Uh, we are really, really paying attention to making sure we lower the friction. All the time, lower the friction, improve the documentation, publish another how-to guide for a different aspect of how to tune a, a model, how to uh, deal with kind of the different type of constituency that we have with customers, either deep learning developer or a DevOps engineer or IT. All of those need, need uh, you know, their piece uh, supported, right? And we're investing in, in all of these and we're leveraging the Intel scale to really, um, you know, reach out to customers and, and educate them on when does it make sense to use a Gaudi-based acceleration uh, rather than, let's say, a Xeon server or a GPU server. And, and typically what we do is that uh, uh, since the, the benefit of using a Gaudi-based server is really getting the price performance uh, advantage, uh, we really focus the Gaudi architecture on realizing this uh, total cost of ownership advantage versus using other platform. And rather than uh, telling customers that they need to use either Gaudi or a CPU or a, or, or a GPU, we're educating customers that it, it's really all about the application that you're using. So if you, if you need a server that really needs to do just deep learning, that's where 
Gaudi benefit comes, you know, will be realized uh, for you as an end developer. We're not trying to compete with GPUs on HPC simulations, right? Or or things or, or pure graphics. We really focus on deep learning, and and that's that's our mission in life is really focusing on enabling uh, customers with deep learning training and inference. Uh, in 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 the programming model that they're used, 99% of developers are really programming in in Python using neural network frameworks, using models and model libraries. Uh, and, and that's where we're focusing on making sure that it's easy for them to consume this technology. Uh, they don't need to learn, uh, you know, things under the hood. They just need to get what they need and, uh, and get it in a performance and cost that will make sense for them. Sounds like you've come a long way in the last six months since we've spoken. Um, because I've always been concerned about you got to get this in the hands of the people that can use it, and that's the developer community. And it sounds like you've done just that with, with your dev cloud. Um, but right now, the, the market's kind of strange. Uh, you've got a lot of startups uh, not able to get capital. Uh, you, uh, they're struggling, I think, to uh, to maintain their staffing. Um, you've got a lot of speculation as to what Intel will do. We've got uh, Panavecchio, you've got uh, Xeon, you've got uh, uh, Gaudi. Um, what can you say about the roadmap for Gaudi? Is it uh, something you can share with the, with the audience? Sure, sure. We actually publicly shared also that Gaudi 3 is actually coming and not too far from now. Uh, Gaudi 3 uh, is our, while Gaudi 2 was our 7 nanometer processor, Gaudi 3 will be a 5 nanometer. A processor with much more compute, memory, and networking. Uh, and, you know, we are getting ready to bring up Gaudi 3 in our own labs uh, sometime this year. And you can expect that not too long after that, uh, we'll be making it available for, for customers. So we have a strong roadmap uh, for the Gaudi architecture. Uh, we're also working to identify opportunities to kind of combine the best of both worlds uh, in, in both the uh, uh, Intel GPU architecture as well as the Hapana Gaudi architecture, how to make the best of both worlds when we think about the fourth generation. Hmm. So we have a very, very strong roadmap. Uh, we have people working right now, uh, obviously in expanding the, the footprint of our software uh, with our first and second generation we have a third generation that uh, is already, you know, on, on on its way, I would say. And we have architects and, and design uh, kind of people working already on that uh, fourth generation. Mm -hmm. uh, so so there's a very, very strong roadmap. And uh, we'll be communicating, uh, you know, with you and, uh, and, and the market uh, uh, on, on what's coming, uh, you know, on a regular basis. Excellent. Well, we, we really look forward to hearing more about it as soon as you're able to talk about it. Um, sounds, sounds exciting. And I'm very, very pleased to see the progress you've made in engaging the ecosystem. That's, that's critical. Um, as you know, uh, yes. silicon without, without software and users is just sand. And uh, sounds like you're, tur you're turning it into a real solution platform. So congratulations. Glad to see it. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Uh, when you're ready to talk about Gaudi 3, we're here for you. And yes, I will, I will pick up the phone. You can bet. All right, you do that. <laughs> Great. Take care. Okay. Nice to talk with you. Stay nice well. Nice to talk to you, Carl. Take care. Bye-bye.